This is the book of Micah chapter 7 and verse 10. And it says it reads, Then she that is my enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is the Lord thy power? My eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trotting down as the mire of the streets. All right, break up the Yahweh. Break up the Yahweh Shai. Break up the Yahweh. Break up the Yahweh Shai. Break up the Yahweh. Break up the Yahweh Shai. All right, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. All right, I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstones, Ruwell. And I want to give a uh, peace and greetings and salutations to all the Lekakim. You know, that's pushing his word in uh, truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, and the brothers that's not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in the truth. You know, I say shalom to you, brothers, you know, and I say shalom, you know, to the to the few sisters that believe in all meekness and humbleness. You know, I say shalom, you know, uh, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Miami camp. And our Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah Bahasham, Rechakwadash. You know, uh, Adawan Rathaza, you know, that means Lord willing, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the elect of the nation Israel, you know. And my lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah Bahasham, Rechakwadash, is going to be basically on how the Lord, the Heavenly Father Yahweh, through his son Yahweh Shah, is going to judge these women. All right. All right. A lot of these women going to get put to death. All right, mainly the, the mainly the, the so-called black woman. All right, the, the Israelite woman that's that's rebellious. All right, the ones the ones who's not serving Yahweh by Shema Shah. All right, who's not being in, in order. The Lord's gonna judge them, man. All right, they think they they they, they think they over man. They think they just do whatever they want. And the Lord's gonna the Lord's gonna gonna uh, judge them as the Scripture says. This is book of Micah chapter 7 and verse 10 again, but I'm going to read it in the NLT. I read it in the KJV. I'm going to read it in the NLT. It says, Then my enemies will see it, which it says in the, in the KJV, then she that is my enemy. Because believe it or not, the woman is your enemy. All right? She's against you. All right? Because why? Her and Esau, she made a covenant with Esau, man. All right, the so-called white man, that's her daddy. That's who she looked at as, as, as for guidance. And that's her God, too. They worship the, the, the image of, of, of Jesus. All right, which our Lord, his name is not Jesus. His name is Yahweh Shah. He's a so-called black woman. I mean, a black man. All right. But the black woman, all right, she worshiped the, the white man. Or she thinks she is God. That's why the Lord is going to humble these women, man. Micah chapter 7 verse 10 It says Then my enemies Will see that the Lord is on my side And they're going to see the Lord is on our side man. That's why the Lord say Let's get this man These, these women all right, They're our enemies man And the more we realize it The better all right, Our walk is going to be in the truth man. All right? Just because she got a fat ass Don't mean nothing all right, She look good or something. She look good Alright she give you a little box She's still your damn enemy man Alright That's why the Lord said you gonna, Our enemy is going to know that The Lord is on our side man Alright This is a book of um, This is a book of Micah I mean uh, Isaiah Isaiah chapter 13 And verse 11 says and I will punish the world for their evil and the world is ruled by Esau Edom the so-called white man which is the wicked so the Lord said he's gonna judge them he's gonna punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity and I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and lay low the haughtiness of the terrible so the Lord's gonna bring this devil down and everybody who's joined unto him gonna be crushed verse 12 I will make a man more precious than fine gold even a man than the gold of wedge of Ophir and what gold is rare all right, so the man, Lord gonna make us more precious, and the gold is very valuable. All right, but we gonna be more valuable than than gold, man. All right, we gonna be more precious than gold. All right, and when, and when the Lord give us that power, all right, they gonna they, strip say they gonna be willing to deal the power, man, because miracles is coming. All right, and Esau, even the so called white man, he's gonna come against you, the same one you praise and you reverence. 
and the Lord's going to, they're going to try to come against us, and the Lord will say he's going to lift up a standard against them, man. All right? This place is over with. It's Micah 7, chapter 7, verse 10 in the um, NLT. It says, then my enemies will see that the Lord is on my side, because the Lord said, well, he's going to make a man more precious than fine gold. An Israelite man that's serving him, the elect, the hopeful elect. They will be ashamed that that they taunted me. And that's what the black woman said. Who uh 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 they said they said what did they they all talk to all type of stuff. That's not his name or you know, bitches they try to taunt you like oh you still out there teaching? Alright, well, yes. And the Lord's gonna Lord's gonna prove everything we say. Alright. Prove you niggas wrong, and we what? Like, Lord, we're gonna prove that the words of the Lord is right, cause He's gonna show. And I'm gonna get that in Isaiah 44. It says, "It says they will be ashamed that they taunted me, saying, so where's the Lord, that God of yours? With my own eyes, I will see their downfall. They will be trampled like the mud in the street. So what? They gonna be, we gonna see their downfall, man? We we'll see the downfall of this." hair hat wearing demonic demon alright even the ones who wear the hair wraps they're demons too alright saying you can't have more than one woman what the hell that's because you've been in a society too, too long man and I, either, either you're going to be this Michael 7 and 10 or Isaiah 4 and 1 because she was talking about it's going to get so bad out here I'm going to get that seven women shall cleave unto one man Alright. EDO is gonna be Michael 7 or 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 Isaiah 4 and 1, man. And that's of the that's of the Lord. Alright. Well what it says. It says, My own eyes shall see their downfall, and that's a good thing. I'm gonna get this and I'm gonna go back to that verse and I got another precept. It's a lot I'm driving. It's been raining. Because that hurricane, hurricane, hurricane Milton, is supposed to be hitting down here, or well, like Central Florida. It probably hit down here too. Lord been tagging this place, and a lot of you women probably dying in, in the um, hurricane. And you simp as dudes, man. You do not want to be in a simp spirit in these times, man. Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes chapter twenty-five, in verse seven, it says. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy, and the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemies. So what? We living to see the fall of our enemies, man. Started with Esau, Edom, so-called white man, along with the Israelite demonic woman. All right? All right, it says, they shall be... Uh, let me read Micah chapter 7, verse 10 again. I got a precept. It says, then my enemies will... See that the Lord is on my side. They would be ashamed that they uh, taunted me, saying, "Where's the Lord thy power? Where's the Lord that God of yours?" All right, let's get this precept. Because the Lord is gonna, what we're saying, the Lord is gonna confirm it. All right, the Lord is whatever the, because we're speaking the words of these are His words. All right. Yeah, with me. This is a book of um, Isaiah chapter 44, verse 24. It says, Thus saith the Lord, thy redeemer, because the Lord is going to redeem the elect of Israel. All right, started with the 144,000, which are men, which are prophets. The Lord said, The tabernacle of the Most High is with men. All right, He said, O ye men, I call. All right, that's why the prophets is men. The, all the all the disciples was men. All right, it says, "Thus saith the Lord, the Redeemer, thy Redeemer, and that sorry, and He that formed thee from the womb, I am the Lord that maketh all things, that stretches out forth the heavens alone, that spreadeth abroad the earth by itself." So the what? This is the Lord, the heaven, the Creator of heaven and earth. The Most High gave uh, our Lord Yahweh the blueprint, and Yahweh and the angels made everything else. 
All right, it says that frustrated the tokens of the liars and make his diviners mad. What these women are liars, they're diviners, they're witches. Esau Edom, he's a witch too. That turneth wise men backward and maketh their knowledge foolish. And the Lord said, What the woman he deprives the woman of, of knowledge, of wisdom, he deprived her of wisdom. Like King Solomon said, out of, a, out of a thousand, out of a thousand righteous men, he found one. But out, out of a thousand women, none. It says, verse 26, that confirmeth the words of his servant. So the Lord's going to confirm the word of his servant, man. All right. What we're seeing, all right, uh, World War Three coming, Jacob's trouble. She was talking about women getting ravished. She was talking about the, the 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 bride, the bride having no bridegroom, having no help. Second edge of 16. Alright. The Lord's gonna take away your 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 goodies. That says in what uh Isaiah. Alright, it's about to get bad for you, demonic women. And it's good. Y'all deserve it. You don't need a man, you're independent. Alright. All on the internet, shaking your ass. All on the podcast, being a demonic. One time with the with the with the big ass fake eyelashes, with the long ass hair hat weave. All right, the Lord's gonna take all that. Your section eight, all that shit. You 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 got the OnlyFans. The Lord's you remember that he was about to take away OnlyFans from y'all niggas. Yeah, it's about to get bad. The water y'all about shy. All right. It says, Isaiah 44 and verse 20, 26. It says, That confirmeth the words of his servant and performeth the counsel of his messengers. All right. That saith to Jerusalem, Thou shalt be inhabited into the cities of Judah, yet ye shall be built, and I will raise up the decayed places thereof. Let's read in the NLT. It says, Verse 25, it says, I expose the false prophets as liars and make fools of the fortune tellers. I cause the wise to give bad advice, thus proving them to be fools. And what? Do these people going to be found foolish. But I carry out the predictions of my prophets. So the, what, what the prophets say, that's what the prophet does. He said, and it happens, the words of Yahweh by Shema Shai. By them, I say to Jerusalem, people will live here again. In the town, into the towns of Judah, you will be rebuilt. It. I will restore all your ruins, and that's what the Lord is. He's gonna destroy this place. All right, that land of uh, Israel, which is in, inhabited by imposters, the Lord is gonna destroy that place. All right, America is gonna be destroyed, but the difference is, America is never gonna be inhabited by humans again. But Israel gonna be rebuilt, and you other nations, y'all gonna rebuild our nation. All right. Just how we build up America and all these different other empires. All right. Y'all nations going to build up our empire, man. With our Lord Yahushua's empire. Uh, kingdom. All right. Which is an everlasting kingdom. All right. Which is by default the kingdom of Israel. All right. So she going to be our enemy. Well, she is our enemy. She going to see it. And the Lord said he's going to cause the, the prediction of the prophets to come to come to pass. All right. So they saying, where's the Lord thy power? Well, you're going to see. All right. You're going to see. Isaiah chapter four. No, Isaiah three. Then I'm going to fall. Isaiah chapter three. That's why the curse is on your black ass. All right. You're black. You're really not black. You um, brown. But you have a black demonic spirit. All right. You have a black energy <laughs> black culture which they say uh, as the mother so is the daughter alright you get it from your mama being a demon it says um, this is the book of Micah chapter 3 in verse Sixteen. 
it says moreover the lord saith because the daughter of because the daughters of zion are haughty you black the money demonic females all right because you're not women women means a, a, a female servant all right you're not you don't serve are you like elder elder zahab all right from uh mississippi he's made that point the black women don't know how to serve but they got him they got her in custom service jobs off oh, she serve her own belly all right so the lord gonna make you eat your own kids man all right nothing new under the sun all right it says moreover like it park right quick It says uh, so like it, Isaiah chapter four, uh, Isaiah chapter three, verse uh, sixteen. It says, "Moreover, the Lord said, because the daughters of Zion are haughty and walk with scratch forth necks and wanton eyes, flirting with her eyes, you know, being a demonic. When she got a man, you see that shit all the time. A girl be be the man be like, like wanton and looking at looking at you and shit like that. Got a, they're full of adulteress." adulterous spirit and walk with scratch forth necks and wanton eyes walking and mincing as they go and making their tingling with their feet got the ankle bracelets on these demonic chicks walking in, in dainty steps flirting with their eyes as it says in the NLT yeah they got the ankle bracelets one chick at my job we're always wear the fucking ankle bracelet. The money is hell. Verse 17 says, Therefore the Lord will smite the scab, will smite with a scab the crown of the daughter of Zion's. So like, the crown of the head of the daughter of Zion, and the Lord will discover their secret parts, man. So what? The Lord smite their hair. That's why they bald head and wear these fucking lace fronts and these wigs and shit like that, man. All this weave, long ass weave down to your fucking back. And you know your hair don't even grow. All right. And now, now what you walk around shaking your ass, tight ass pants. They don't wear modest apparel. They don't. That's out of the window. And the ones who do, they the money, they double the money. The ones who know they is like and been a demon. All right. Shalom, brother. Got the God. Anyways, verse 18. In that day, the Lord will take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments. And about their feet and their calls and around sorry, and their round tires. Like the moon. Let's read the NFT. On the day, on that day. Day of judgment, the Lord will strip away everything that makes her beautiful. Ornaments, headbands, crescents, necklaces. The Lord's gonna take everything for you, demonic women. That's what we tell you. That's why they're gonna that's why Isaiah 4 and 1 gonna happen. What you gonna get into it? They're gonna come down humble. <laughs> I'm just reading this in LT because it makes um get a better understanding. It says earrings, bracelets, and the veils. Scars, ankle, ankle bracelets, sashes, perfumes and charms, rings, jewels, party clothes, gowns, capes and purses, mirrors, fine, fine linen garments, head ornaments and shawls. Yeah, so the Lord's going to take all that away from you, man. All right. Instead of smelling a sweet perfume. He, she will stink. Yeah, your little box gonna be rotten. All right. Got uh, got these different diseases. Got um, what do they call it? VD, VB, something like that. Vaginal bacteria, shit stinks. 
she will wear a robe rope for a stash and her elegant hair will fall out bald head ass she will wear rough barlap instead of rich robes shame will replace her beauty the men of the yes the lord's on you're gonna take everything you're gonna fall you're gonna stink you're gonna be bald headed you're gonna be looking like a fucking mess the men of the city will be killed with the sword and her warriors will die in battle yeah yo 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 who you go to for your help is not gonna be there i'm gonna close it i'll get a couple more precepts either you're gonna be michael 7 and 10 or isaiah 4 and 1 second edge 16 you see the difference what well, we're gonna get into it the second edge 16 in verse 33 the virgin shall mourn having no bridegrooms the women shall mourn having no husbands their daughters shall mourn having no helpers in the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed and their husbands shall perish of famine so they're gonna lose everything your protection all right isaiah 3 and verse 26 in the nlt it says the gates the, the gates of Zion will weep and mourn. The city will be like a ravished woman huddled to the ground, man. All right. So it's going to get bad out here. This is the book of um, Isaiah 4 and 1 in verse 1 in the NLT. It says, in that day, so few men will be left that seven women will fight for each man. They're going to fight for each man. Saying, let us all marry you. They're going to be in the, um, in the, how do I say that? A sharing mindset. All right. Instead of this independent, uh, one, one woman relationship, they're going to be in a plumic, plumic, <laughs> polygamy. All right. Mindset. All right. Let us all marry you. We will provide our own food and clothing. Let us take your name so we won't be mocked as old maids. And what? How do you take the name? By having sex. All right. So the Lord is going to gonna uh, show that who he's dealing with, man. So don't be worried about these women. They're they going to they gonna, they gonna get in order. Like the elders apostles always say, man. They're going to they gonna get their ass in order when all hell break loose. This is the book of um, Isaiah chapter 32 and verse 2 in the NLT. Each one will be, well, let's talk about a man. It says that man shall be a hiding place from the wind. That's in the KJV. Let's read the NLT. Each one will be like a shelter from the wind and a refuge from the storm. Like screams of water in the desert in, light, in the shadow of of a great rock in the parched land. So what? A man going to be like what? Screams of water in the desert. Or shelter from the wind. Alright. So that's what the, the Lord is going to make us. Like. Safety man. Alright. We're going to be a safe haven. We're going to be a safe place. Because the Lord is going to have his angels around us. To protect us man. Alright. And those. That with the men of the Lord. He's going to protect them. But if you're not, and you being demonic, and you, you want to do your own thing, all right, do your own thing. See how that shit going to work out. As we always tell these people, man. All right, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. All right. Let, 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 um, on that day of judgment, we're going to see who has the real God. That's what it's going to be. This book of Ezekiel chapter 33 and verse 33 says, And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. They're going to know that a prophet had been among them, man. It's about to get bad out here, man. You know, this the other precepts going to see on, on, on these demonic women, but, you know, I'm going to just close it right there. You know, Lord, one of this lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakorash. All right, I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone with Ruel. And I want to give all peace, greetings, and salutations to all the Lekakim, 
That's pushing his word and truth and sincerity. Hey, Shalom, Mike, keep pushing, keep doing Shalom.